The myth of the gender pay gap reared its ugly head again this week. That old lie that women are somehow paid less than men for the same jobs in some kind of sexist campaign of oppression by the evil patriarchy. Yes, it was pushed by the government agency that gets funded to push it. And it was lapped up by all the old media. Even the evil right-wing Murdoch media that the left so love to hate. Front page of Brisbane's Courier Mail on Tuesday screamed, Gender pay shame file revealed the worst companies for pay inequity. Airlines, banks, mining firms and even fashion businesses have been named and shamed as some of the worst companies for paying Australian men significantly more than women. This report by the Workplace Gender Equality Agency, that's a government agency, folks, which means your tax dollars pay to fund it, and we're going to see some of their excellent work in a moment, but their research shows Virgin Australia was the worst performer of companies which employ 5,000 or more people with a pay gap of 41.7%. Qantas was not far behind with a gap of 37%, while the cult fitness brand Lorna Jane has a gender pay gap of 37.1%. Lorna Jane? Seriously? Sexism at Lorna Jane? Hmm. Are you suspicious of this dubious data yet? Oh, well, you should be. You see... We've made that big bad mistake again of letting bureaucrats and journalists play with statistics. They really shouldn't. First of all, the gap between what men earn and what women earn is due to many, many factors, many, many variables. So it requires what real scientists would call a multivariate analysis. It's not just because of sexism and the patriarchy. For God's sake, journalists, Jordan Peterson famously schooled that UK Channel 4 journo about this six years ago in the interview that nearly broke the internet. Nearly 50 million views should have ended her career, but it didn't somehow. How could you possibly have missed it? Here in the UK, for example, let's take that as an example. The gender pay gap stands at just over 9%. You've got women at the BBC recently saying that the broadcaster is illegally paying them less than men to do the same job. You've got only seven women running the top FTSE 100 companies. Yeah. So it seems to a lot of women that they're still being dominated and excluded, to quote your words back to you. It does seem that way, but multivariate analysis of the pay gap indicate that it doesn't exist. But that's just so not do, true, is it? I mean, that 9% pay gap, that's a gap between median hourly earnings yeah. between men and women. But that multiple, exists. Yeah, but there's multiple reasons for that. One of them is gender, but it's not the only reason. Like, if you're a social scientist worth, worth your salt, you never do a univariate analysis. Like, yep. you say, well, women in aggregate are paid less than men. Okay, well, then we break it down by age, we break it down by occupation, we break it down by interest, we break it down by personality. Wow, poor Cathy Newman from Britain's Channel 4 is intellectually over her head. Like most journalists, she has apparently very little understanding of statistics or social science and can't get her tiny brain around the idea that her sexist anti-male ideology, because that's what it is, might not be the reason for a gender pay gap. It might actually be partly due to many other factors, like, mm, I don't know, women choosing different kinds of jobs, not something the government needs to fix or women being less likely to ask for a pay rise, something we probably should fix, but which has nothing to do with sexism coming from men. Despite not having this basic level of intellectual capability, I bet Cathy Newman earns pretty good money over at Channel 4. Anyway, back to the classroom. But you're saying basically it doesn't matter if women aren't getting to the top, because that's what's skewing that gender pay gap, isn't it? You're saying, well, that's just a fact of not life. Saying women it aren't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. You're saying, I'm it's saying a fact there are multiple life. reasons for it. Yeah, but those reasons why, why should women put up with those reasons? Why should, why should women, women be content? Up with it? I'm not, not saying to that get they to should the put up with it. I'm saying that the claim that the wage gap between men and women is only due to sex is wrong. And it is wrong. There's no doubt about that. The multivariate analysis have been done. So well, I, I can give you, you an example. You keep on talking wait, about multivariate analysis. Let me give no, 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 no. I'm saying that 9% pay gap exists. Yeah. Yeah. That's a gap between men and women. I'm not saying why it exists, but it exists. Now, yeah, if you you're a woman, that seems exists. pretty unfair. You have to say why it exists. But do you agree that it's unfair? If you're a woman... Not necessarily. And on average, you're getting paid 9% less than a man. That's not fair, is it? It depends on why it's happening. 
Poor Jordan. Honestly, it's like watching Albert Einstein being interviewed by Lisa Wilkinson. It's just not a fair fight. She is so out of her depth. Poor old Cathy couldn't cope with the idea that some people, including women, might actually not want to take on high-paying, high-stress roles and may voluntarily step away from them. Shocking. Do you agree that you would be happy if that pay gap was eliminated completely? It because that's all the radical feminists are saying. It would depend on how it was eradicated and how the, how, how the disappearance of it was measured. And you're saying if you it's at the cost of men, that's a problem? Oh, there's all sorts of things that it could be at the cost of. It could even be at the cost of women's own interests. So Because they might not be happy if they get equal pay. No, because it might interfere with other things that are causing the pay gap that women are choosing to like do. Like having well, children. Well, or choosing careers that actually happen to be paid less, which women do a lot of. But why shouldn't women have the right to choose not to have children or the right to choose they, those demanding careers? They do. They can. Yeah, that's fine. But you're saying that makes them unhappy, by and large. I'm saying that that... No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I, and I actually haven't said that so far. You're saying program. it makes them miserable. No, I said beginning. that what was making them miserable was having, part, was having weak partners. And once Jordan got back to talking about what was wrong with men, Kathy was happy once again.